So the other day, the NBA awards show finally happened. And Giannis Antetokounmpo took home the MVP trophy. In basically any year, I would say that Giannis deserved MVP. His team had the best record in the league, and Giannis averaged an incredible 27.7 points, 12.5 rebounds, and 5.9 assists per game. These stats are incredible, but in my opinion, James Harden deserved the MVP award, which would have been back-to-back -back winning years for him. Now let me explain why Harden should have won MVP. MVP stands for Most Valuable Player in respect to his team, and Harden was that and more for the Rockets. I know Giannis was the most important player on a team with the best record in the NBA, but he had a great supporting cast. There are no amazing stars on his team, but he had an all-star in Chris Middleton and great role players in Malcolm Brogdon, Brooke Lopez, and Eric Bledsoe, who were all healthy for most of the season. That's the difference between Harden and Giannis this year. Harden's top supporting cast in Chris Paul and Clint Capella were both injured for a long period of time during the heart of the season. They were so desperate for a big man that they ran lineups with PJ Tucker at center, who is six foot four. During this span of time, Harden had one of the greatest scoring runs we've seen in modern NBA history. For 32 straight games, Harden scored at least 30 points, which is good for the second longest streak of all time. During this period from December to February, Harden averaged an absurd 41.1 points per game and scored as many as 61 points versus the Knicks. For 32 straight games and more after, Harden was asked to carry his team and he stepped up. This year, he also owns the NBA record streak of games with at least 35 plus points and 5 plus assists and consecutive games with 5 or more made threes. He also was the first player in NBA history to score a 40 point triple double in fewer than 30 minutes. During this season, Harden scored 50 plus points 9 times, which is more than Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and Carmelo Anthony all have in their respective careers. If that's still not enough, Harden averaged 36.1 points, 6.6 rebounds, and 7.5 assists per game, all while taking his 14th place Rockets all the way up to 4th place in the Western Conference, and on top of that, tied for the 5th best record in the entire NBA. I understand why Giannis won, but James Harden had one of, if not the most impressive scoring season in the modern NBA. We just don't see guys scoring at this volume and literally carrying the team on their backs for long periods of time like this. I just hope for the sake of basketball that we didn't waste one of the greatest scoring seasons ever for the popular media vote of an upcoming new NBA star in Giannis. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.